Hi, we're here with more Reconscripted Football Times, uh, and we're here with uh, Georgia and uh, Missouri, and Georgia was favored by 30 and a half points, and uh, the score is uh, like yeah, it's 26 to 22. So I've been telling everybody, please don't bet on these rigged and scripted fucking games. They're all rigged and scripted. These guys playing in college, most of their family members are in the NFL, and they're you know they're generational uh, family members from day one uh, have been affiliated with colleges and in the NFL and uh, what Lobo calls monarch uh, athletes. He's right about that. And um, just for instance, you know Michael Pittman Jr. Has a, has a brother that plays in the NFL, and his dad played in the NFL, and his other brother is playing for Florida State, and they're all, uh, they're all in on this stuff, man. These are monarch athletes. They know the script. I had some guy tell me, oh, you, Notre Dame was uh, rigging games. They're all rigging games, dude. That's why Notre Dame uh, has a head coach that's barely winning games and haven't fired him yet. Because none of this shit matters. They're all making money, and now they're actually paying the players for their likenesses and their uh, the stuff that they're you know using their names and stuff like that, which is totally legit. I agree with that. You can't just take someone's likeness and sell T-shirts for you know millions of dollars a fucking year using people's likenesses and uh, their names and stuff like that. And uh, you know, oh, it's all about school. If it was all about school, there would be no sports in college or even in high school. It's for children. When you're a little kid, you used to play football and baseball, but when you became a man, you put away childish things. And this shit's childish. These are fucking grown people wearing another grown man's jersey. These people are fucking corrupt, and, and, and it's all rigged and scripted. It's all about betting. I promise you, if they stopped betting on fucking professional sports, nobody would watch this shit. Nobody would watch these games if there was no money in betting on them. If they stopped betting and made it illegal to fucking gamble on these fucking games and put people in fucking federal prison for gambling, nobody would watch these fucking games. That's a hundred percenter. Baseball's rigged. Base, uh, basketball's rigged. Hockey's rigged. It's all fucking rigged and scripted, folks. College football is rigged and scripted. Uh, you got this team is favored by 30 and a half points. And unless Georgia scores 30 points, or, uh, 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 well, I'm sorry, another 20 points in fucking two minutes, whoever took Georgia to cover that spread, you're going to lose your money on that. And uh, Alabama barely won today. And uh, just sitting around watching these fucking games on Saturdays and Sundays is a waste of time. You can do much, you know, do a lot more things with your time. You can spend time with your family and your friends and go out and do shit. And the money you spend on these fucking bullshit games, going to these games and stuff like that, you can literally go on vacation and enjoy your life. I wouldn't give them the fucking time of day, these fucking idiots. And uh, the only reason I'm, say I'm showing you this game is I'm actually at the hotel still. We don't have no electricity at our house right now. And the hurricane did some pretty, you know, did some, you know, a lot of damage. So uh, we're on B side right now. We're still at the hotel, and this hotel has every damn channel, uh, sports channel, because of betting. Um, that's how, uh, most of the hotels have that now because people are betting on these fucking games, and they're rigged and scripted. Now you got people coming up with channels telling you what teams to bet on, doing gambling channels, and as my man Jake said. If you bet on these games, then you're emotionally tied to them. You have emotionally content to it. And it's just going to make you watch the games and get upset because you have money invested in this shit. And at the end of the day, you're going to lose your money because nobody knows who's going to win these games. And nobody knows what exactly is going to happen in these games. They can make a phone call. The refs are in control of everything. They change the game at a, 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 in an instant with a phone call. It's all about points. It's all about the Reagan script. And, you know, if you took Alabama today, like I said, the running back had over 200 yards on the ground, dude. It was ridiculous. So people bet on that, how many yards the guy's going to have in Reagan script in football times is, how many passes they're going to throw for, um, you know, how many completions, how many touchdowns, all this shit. When you have no idea what is going to happen, but you could get a, you could kind of get. A, I just said mother and father both UGA uh, Gator. I mean Georgia graduates. 
and uh, a moonshiner and Baptist preacher. What the fuck is that got to? You know what I mean? It's just a storyline. It's all a storyline. All these people are monarch players. There are most of them, like I said, they're family members in the NFL or in pro sports, and they're. It's been like this for generations. They know the script. They know what's going on. And it, you know, in, in real life, Georgia would just clean the fucking clock with. And they would. This would not be a close game if this was straight and legit. This was a sucker bet to get people to lose their money because everybody and their grandmother took fucking Georgia today uh, on that bet. They're like they're gonna beat them by 50 points. No, they're not. Not in Rick and scripted football times. They's not. So don't bet on these games. Be careful who you listen to. Uh, you know, especially channels they're trying to tell you bets and stuff and I, I know they mean well and they're trying to help you make win money but nobody knows who's going to win these games only vegas does and then you you know what will happen is they, uh, you have somebody that's a nice person and they'll try to tell you uh hey listen this person this team's going to win or that team's going to win and then if they don't fucking win you're going to be pissed off at them for giving you free advice anyway when you shouldn't even fucking be betting on the games to begin with so, if you're going to listen to people and take their advice on what teams to bet on, which I disagree with 100%, don't get mad at them if they fucking tell you the wrong bet. You know, some of them might even be PSYOP channels, you don't know, to, to get you to lose money. Like fucking Zach. That guy's not right about nothing. He's been doing Germantria for all these years, and he can't even come up with a string of fucking wins. And then, when he's wrong, he changes his, uh, he changes his picks. I literally come on TV to get as the game's starting and tell you who's going to win and why they're going to win. I'm not psychic or nothing. It's just that rigged and scripted. So I appreciate everybody watching. Please like and subscribe and let me know what you think. Let, let me know uh, what games you saw that were rigged today. Uh, I didn't do much watching of any TV today. I've been pretty busy with the hurricane situation. But I came home from Publix. I had a sub. And uh, Ashley's getting ready to get off work, so I got her some subs. And then uh, I turned the TV on, and these fucking idiots are on there. And I'm like, I knew it, because I've been watching, you know, people on YouTube picking, uh, picking sports. And I'm like, dude, some of these games you gotta watch because they're just, it's, it's a fucking grift to get your money. So I do appreciate everybody watching, and you, you can follow whoever you want. But you know, when people start asking you for money. On their, on their channel and stuff like that, be very reluctant because they're just fucking grifters and um, they don't really have nothing to bring to the table. They're, most of these people just do NFL channel uh, and then when the, when the season's over, they got nothing to talk about except books on their shelves and uh, bullshit stuff. Well, all year round, you know, I'm tell, uh, I have uh, videos on fishing, on collecting sports cards, on other sports you know, and, and worldly things that are going on. So I, I try to keep informed, and I try to share my knowledge of what's going on, uh, you know, from what I'm reading and seeing with my viewers. And, uh, and I have, uh, <clears throat> I still got the contest I'm doing. I haven't forgot about that. I'll be picking up my, my laptop, but the hurricane really put us back a little bit. But that, will, that giveaway is coming up. I'll probably post that video uh, uh, Monday or Tuesday, uh, the winner of that, and then uh, we'll send that shit out to you. I appreciate you guys watching, like I say, and please don't bet on these games. They're rigged and scripted, and the best thing to do is just not even, you know, participate in any of this shit. Don't buy no jerseys from these from these teams, or don't buy uh, uh, hats, or don't support them in any way, fashion, or form, and especially betting. The shit's too much. Uh, to try to guess, and you're only going to lose your money, and I don't want to see you folks lose your money on some bullshit. You're, you're, you're better off fucking buying a lottery ticket or a scratch-off. You have better odds of winning that shit than you do picking these fucking rigged and scripted games. So once again, I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate your support. I am I'm doing okay. I got some things to work on at the house, but we're, we're safe, and I appreciate everybody's support, and I do uh, appreciate your prayers and everything like that. We're safe. I just want to let you know that, and uh, and I just want to let you know that you you bet you took Georgia, you lost your money, and I'm sure there's a few other games that had point spreads like that that you lost your money. Uh, Texas uh, Christian University was another one. I saw the the odds on that, and I knew that they were going to win that shit after after reading about them. So, and uh, they got busted in the '80s for uh, 
running rig programs. They got uh, sanctioned and everything. They were one of the first teams to start paying players. So it's been going on for a while, folks. It's all been rigged and scripted for a long time. So if you just if you're gonna watch this shit, watch it for enjoyment, you know, for entertainment. I literally laugh at it because it's so fucking comical. And if you just don't bet on it, that's my thing. I don't want people wasting their money. I don't want people to get mad at each other over fucking rigged and scripted football times. So uh, and people arguing over teams and stuff. It's just silly and. Uh, you're better than that. And I, uh, you know, I love you guys, and that's why I'm sharing my knowledge with you and letting you know the shit's rigged and scripted, folks.